The second thing I'm going to show you is something that's really good for when you've got cold. I know we're in the summer, but this actually needs to stay in your fridge for quite a while before you can use it. So if you make it now, you'll actually be able to have it um, early winter if you come down with a cold or anything. So what you need, again, is another jar. Again, I just boiled some water, put it in a basin and put this inside. I don't tend to put it in the oven or anything like that, and it seems to be okay. Um, anyway, you just disinfect it any way that you, you'd like to do that. And what I use for this is sugar. Sugar and salt are both preservatives, and both of them draw out the liquid from vegetables um, that you put in with them. Um, you could also use honey if you don't want to use sugar. But basically what you're doing is you, we're gonna make layers, layers of onion, sage, garlic, and ginger. And between those layers, we're gonna put sugar. And what happens is that once you put that in the fridge, the sugar will bring out the water from the onions and the garlic, and you'll get this amazing syrup that you can have. So usually what happens is you've still got everything in layers, obviously it falls down a bit and the liquid gathers at the bottom and you can just get a teaspoon and actually just get yourself the teaspoon, put it in, open, take the lid off and actually get some of the syrup out and it's really, really strong and very good for you. Um, and you can just put the lid back on and put it back in the fridge. So you don't need to empty anything out. Just take a, a teaspoon from the bottom and, and it will just keep making liquid for you and it, you, it lasts for a long time. Um, so you just, I get brown sugar just because I feel it's a bit healthier for me. But as I say, you could probably do this with honey. I haven't done that, but I think often it does work. So you start off with a layer of sugar. Then a layer of onion. Again, I cut, I slice some onions up and I've also got shallots. Um, the shallots you can put in as well. So a, a layer of onions. Then another layer of sugar. Again, it doesn't matter what the sequence is, as long as you've got layers. So there should be sugar on top and below everything that you're putting in. Then I also want a layer of sage. So this is sage that I'm growing in my garden. So I'll explain how I grow all these things in a minute. But sage is quite a strong, strong herb usually use it with chicken, but it's really good for your throat, really good if you've got a cold. It's a great herb and it grows like a weed here. So I put a few sage leaves in and I'm going to put again some garlic slices in. So I'm going to put a lot of garlic in here. So I'm just going to slice my garlic. I'll put it on top of my sage leaves. In fact, I'm going to cut my sage leaf a little bit. Put it in. And I'm going to peel a few more bits of garlic. Again, I'm going to squash it. Get the juices out. That one fell on the floor. <laughs> I'll do that again. No. This is lovely. <laughs> this is lovely to watch you doing this. It's quite therapeutic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so that's adding to it the. It smells activity. nice in here. I wish we had smelly vision. You'd be able to smell it. <laughs> anyway, this is too big, so I will just be cutting it and putting some more. And I think I might even put not actual lemon, but just the the skin of the lemon. 
I'm going to put that in here too, because I know lemon's good for the jaw and good if you've got cold. And then again, I will put another layer of sugar. So I'm afraid it is quite a lot of sugar, but it does convert into syrup. This is great for children. <laughs> <laughs> and then more onions. You just keep going and keep repeating till you've got to the top. Again, some more sage. Some more sage, and this time I'm going to add some slices of ginger. I'm not going to put, yeah, I was going to say I'm not going to put any chilli in here because that would just make it too strong. So a bit more onion, like so. A bit more sugar. And obviously, if you don't like sage, if you don't want ginger, that's absolutely fine. You could actually maybe put some cinnamon in it. Who knows? It's very good for the cold too. I might just put a tiny bit of cinnamon like that. I might even put a little bit of cardamom just because I really like it. And it's a good spice for your heart. And if you're using cardamom, it's the seeds inside that you want. So you can get a pestle and mortar, press them open, and then it's the little seeds that you want. And you, I would pop them in, not the, not the husk, just the seeds. They smell really nice. And then I might put a bit more sage and, of course, a bit more garlic. Garlic's always good for you. So it's quite a simple process. All these things are free. You don't have to go to the chemist and try and help yourself, help your immune system, boost your energy. So. Sensory wise is a shame, I guess it's a shame you can't taste or smell anything here, but you would do if you try this at home. So it's a very nice thing to do with people if you want them to smell, feel and taste things. Um, and this, I've done this with a few groups of people and it's always been really popular. They really like doing this. Um, so that's probably me coming to the end. Try and squash it down a bit as much as you can. Always a good idea to squash things. I will put more ginger. Again, I'm putting quite big bits in. Remember, you're not eating the actual ingredients I'm putting here. You're just going to be taking the syrup that comes from the liquid that's being drawn out of these things with the sugar. So it doesn't matter what size things are. Again, I finish it off with sugar. So it doesn't look like much at the moment. I might just do one more. I'd like to put a bit of lime in. So I put lemon, but I haven't put any lime. I might need to cut a little bit. Top again. Press it down as much as you can. And cover it in sugar. And put the lid on. And I can see that I've got a few gaps here and there. So I'm going to try and squash it down. You want to try not to have clear gaps if possible. Just lets the microbes go in. So you want to try and fill it up as much as possible. So I might be able to put 
yet another layer. And this will take in the fridge, I don't know, a week, two weeks, you'll start noticing it going, becoming a bit, you'll see the liquid at the bottom of the jar eventually. It does happen quite quickly. That's it. And it smells really nice. And put the lid on. And again, I would write what it is. So I'll just put a uh, cold remedy and maybe put all, a list of the ingredients that you've used, the date, I don't know what the date is, and then just put that on. And you'll know what it is when you look in the fridge and you've got all these strange things in your fridge. So that's that one. That's your cold remedy. And as I say, I'm sure you can use honey instead of sugar. Um, and it's just layers. And just use any herbs. I could have put thyme in, actually. Thyme would have been nice as well, because that's good. 